All right, guys, we're back in the booth tonight. I wanted to thank our sponsor of the video, LureBuild.com. Jimmy has excellent blanks, eyes, stencils from Insane Custom Stencils. He has his own brand. Uh, so go check him out, LureBuild.com, for all your painting and lure supply needs. So let's get to it. All right, we are back at it tonight. Um, going to kind of just have a freestyle paint. Don't have anything really in mind tonight. Just going to have some fun. Going to use some new stencils that I've gotten from Russ Allen. Try it and see what it comes out to be. We're also going to use the new paints um, from Lure Build, Green Goblin. Um, so we're going to have some fun and just see what we can come in, you know, get into tonight. All right. So I've already put my my base coat on uh autoborn sealer white then i came back with a couple of coats of um titanium white golden and then i actually uh put one coat of uvls over that and i'm gonna tell you why i've just learned when i'm using stencils uh and these stencils are flat and these baits are kind of you know concave and round it's just a lot easier um, if I, if I start putting that stencil up against it, it wants to scratch it. And if I use the UVLS over it, it kind of takes care of that issue where I don't, um, mark the bait up, scratch it up and have to repaint something. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is, uh, I've got some hot rod sparkle auto air. It is, um, 4501 sparkle white. And I'm gonna spray the whole bait. And this stuff is super, super thick. This stuff will clog your gun up in a heartbeat. Uh, so what I've done is I've over-reduced it, uh, probably a 70 to 30 with 4011. And I'll show it to you. It's very, very soupy. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, but it, th this effect on a white bait is really awesome. Um, if you haven't tried it, which I know that uh, they've taken the auto airs line out and everything is wicked. So I, I don't know what they're calling it now. I'm sure it's still hot rod sparkle, but I'm going to put it in a, um, an eclipse that I have with a 0.35 and I'm going to lower the pressure just a little bit because I've got it over reduced till about 30. And I'm just going to get, get a coating on it. I may have to put it back up. It's, this stuff is just brutally thick. It's clogging this thing up even over reduced. So I'm just gonna hit it a little bit. I'm just gonna go around it a couple of times. And it will it will give this white a really neat look. It will just shine in the sunlight. Especially if you take this. Sorry about that compressor. I've got a leak in it and I've got to do something with that. So I'm going to be replacing that. So I went ahead and sprayed that over reducer on. You really can't see it a whole lot, but it has got a lot of sparkle in it. We're going to let that dry for a minute. And again, that's the hot rod sparkle. 4501. I'm sure it is in the wicked line now. I just don't know what those numbers are. I've, I've got a lot of auto airs paints that I love and um, I'll be, I got enough to last me a long time. So what we're going to do is we're going to let that dry and I'm going to switch my guns over and I'm going to shake this paint up from Lure Bill. We haven't used this. It's Green Goblin. And I want to, um, I want this bait for me. I just catch a lot of fish on green. Probably one of my favorite colors to fish where I live. And, uh, I'm just going to kind of just have a little bit of fun with this tonight and see what I can come up with. So we're going to get this out and I'm going to shake it up good for a minute while this is drying. Jimmy has a lot of new paints, a lot of new color shift paints, iridescence. He's got some cool stuff. 
and we're going to be trying it out. I'm going to I'm going to heat set heat set this really quick. I don't have my dryer by my booth, but I don't heat set a whole lot. I'm going to try to do a total reset up for the videos here soon. And then I'll go over my booth and my wheel and my setup, my paint. All right, so I'm going to shake this up good because I haven't used it yet. And this paint is a green goblin. It is a shifter iridescent. And this is a new blank from Lure Build. And I really like it. It's a square bill. I like the shape of it. I think it's gonna be a good bait to catch fish on. So let's see what we can come up with. Hang on just a second. I may not have the top totally opened up on this. Well, that would help if I took the took the paper off of it. It's brand new. I didn't do that. No wonder it wasn't coming out. Let me get my tweezers. I got my gloves on. My hand still ain't quite 100%, so I'm kind of having to, they're a lot better. I've actually been able to do a lot of videos here in the last couple of weeks, and I, I'm excited about getting back in here and just having some fun, even if I don't have a whole lot of ideas and I'm in here freestyling around. So I got the pressure on about 30. Um, this is a really cool color, I like it. So we're just gonna run it over the top and we'll just build it up. back with some black because I already know what eyes I'm going to use for this. I'm going to let some of it run down the side. I really like this green paint that Jimmy's come up with. like it a lot it's a really cool color so we'll clean the gun out and we'll let that dry we'll probably go ahead and just heat set it i clean out between every color i don't like to mix paints in my chamber some people do i just don't i'm spraying my ps 771 with a 0.18 needle in it. Let me hit this real quick with some heat. before I use my stencil. Uh, 
Uh, maybe I will do the stencil next. Let me get a little bit of black carbon in the, in the gun. Because I'm going to do something on top. I just haven't quite figured out what I want to do with that yet. Shake this paint up. And we're using some golden black carbon. Uh, I think that's one of the better black paints that's available out there. It's very airbrush friendly. Um, not hard to manage at all. Uh, very easy to paint. Do your gun. Now I'm going to be using a stencil, so I am going to cut the gun down, which I got a Mac valve on this airbrush, which I can leave the pressure on, say, 35, 40, and just cut this down and paint and just cut the pressure down at my gun, which is kind of nice. So if you didn't know what a Mac valve does, that's what it actually does. It'll, it'll allow you to... Uh, cut the pressure down on the gun. You can just leave your compressor running and just use your mount, that Mac valve to adjust. Now, this is a little stencil that Russ has sent me. I don't know what the design actually is on this one, but I thought it'd be kind of cool to try it on this just to see, just do something a little bit different than normal. I'm gonna try to leave it up in the air where you can actually see it. Uh, most of them will line up with... Um, what I'll usually do is I'll just go ahead and hit the the face and then I'll just slide myself down on the stencil. I'll go ahead and hit some of the eye and some of the top and I'll take it off and that gives it a kind of a cool look. And then I'll just come back down. I'll just kind of set it up here and just hit the body. And I think I'm gonna just do the dots. I'm not gonna do the bigger dot. I'm just going to lightly hit it all the way down. And it gives it kind of a cool look. I like the, the way the eyes did. That turned out kind of neat. And I'll take it and put a little bit of black around it to kind of just darken that face. It kind of, it's, the lure's actually got some deep eye sockets, and I kind of like that. It's kind of neat. So what we'll do is we'll just flip it over and we'll do it upside down and I'll take it out and let you see it. Oh my darn, I'm having a terrible time with my little old stand. I think it's my hands with these, these gloves on, but that's what it looks like. It's kind of a, a neat little design. I kind of like it. I'll go ahead and lock it back in and then I'll just flip it over. And I'll do this one upside down. It's no big deal. You just want to make sure that your stencil, you know, is not wet where you're laying it on top of it again. And I'm just going to do the face. And, uh, and then I'll do the body. So we'll hit the eye first. And we'll just slowly just bleed it on down. And it turned out really cool. And then what we'll do is we'll just set this on here and we'll hit the, the circle pattern. I just want to make sure I'm not going up on the gill. So I'll just hit this right here. Let it bleed in. And that turned out pretty neat. And now what I'll do on the top is I'll use the, um, I call it Dare's cloth. Everybody else calls it something else because it's not really a shad, so I'm not gonna put a scale pattern on it, but I want a little bit of black on the top. So what I'm gonna do with this is I'm just gonna put it on the crown. I'm gonna, I want the green showing because the, the green is actually what I want out of this whole bait. Uh, I love the green bait, I love the paint. It's actually a really cool color. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go right on the crown very lightly, just to give it an effect. And still leave the green there and that's it we'll take that off and it gives you that kind of kind of gives it a froggy looking effect i mean it's a it's a neat bait so what we'll do is we'll let that dry and what i'm going to do is i'm going to take um some poison green and i'm going to run over the top of that That'll soften the black up with the candy and it'll really give it a shiny look. Don't think I'm gonna to touch anything on the sides. Um, 
I've already got some cups here. I'm just gonna mix them up real quick. And you don't need a lot of this. I waste a ton. You, you really only need probably maybe two drops, very little of this. I, I waste so much of this paint. This stuff is, is not cheap. That UVLS is not cheap. And then I'll put in a couple of drops of, of poison and I will put a little bit of reducer in with that. I just like it a little thinner to spray through that, that needle I got. So I'll go ahead and stir that up and we'll give that a chance to dry. And uh, then we'll go ahead and hit the top on this. This isn't going to be a long one. This is not a hard one to do. It's kind of cool. I got a neat set of chrome green solid eyes to put on it that'll really set it off. And I think what makes the baits is actually why that's resting is the, the colors in it. You've got the you've got the titanium white with the hot rod sparkle, and you'll be able to see it out in the in the sunlight. Then it goes into the black pattern, black eyes, green, black, and so forth and so forth, going back the other way. It just gives it a really neat look especially after you get your epoxy on it. And I've got my lure coat and I'm gonna be using that. I'm not gonna do it on camera tonight, but I will show y'all when we get done. And I'm gonna have, I think I'm at 991 subscribers and I really appreciate everybody's support. I think I'm gonna have a giveaway on my 1000 where I'm gonna give away a few of my lures that I've done the videos on. Uh, I don't really sell a whole lot. I'm, you know, I'm thinking about it and then I, kind of back back out, but um, we're gonna have something fun for the supporters. Um, then you can get your hands on some of these baits and tell me what you think. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put this in the gun. It is poison green. And that was not smart because I didn't clean the gun out, guys. Well, just like I said, you're gonna get it just like I do it. And that's a goof up and I just wasted that paint because I left black in the gun. But it is what it is. So you're going to get it in real time. Because I do mess up plenty, I will assure you. <laughs> I mess up probably a lot more than I do good. I think I still got enough in here to do this a little bit. And I'm pretty sure I do. Like I said, I waste more of it than I do <laughs> than I paint. So what I'm going to do is I got it in the gun. I'm going to cut it down on my mouth valve. And all I'm going to do with the candy is I'm gonna run it over this green. I'm gonna run it over the top and just on the other side. I may let a little fade down in there. I wanna keep the white there just for the color change. And I think that'll that'll make the bait really kind of cool looking. So we're just gonna start on the top. I definitely gotta do something about that. That's driving me crazy. Um, so we're gonna start at the top and I'm just gonna ease it on there. You can already see the candy makes a huge difference in these baits. And I'll let it bleed on down. And I'll hit some around these eyes just to give it a, a special look. I need to put a little bit more black in that. I didn't do that on this side, daggummit. All right, let that dry. I'm gonna put a little bit of black in the gun. I gotta hit that eye socket to make it match. I'm not going to need a lot. I knew I'd done something. I left black in there for something. Let's see here. Get this. dry. It's actually a really cool looking bait. Let's see if I have any more green in there that I can go over that with. I got a few drops. It'll work. And I'll just 
hit it back over. That's all I needed. I'll let that dry. I'm not going to heat set the candy. I'm going to clean the gun out. I'm going to put the eyes in and then we'll hit it with some UVLS. I'm going to finish this up. It's not a hard bait to do. These are good baits for, you know, for all skill set levels. Um, I'll go ahead and dry that off with the air. Let me turn it. I mean, the biggest advice I can give to people that are starting out that are watching the videos, don't do not do too much. I mean, we, all, we always get on these projects, and even me looking at it now, I'm going, does it need something else? And we always do it, and it ends up muddying up the lures. So if I could give you any advice, you know, come up with a basic plan, paint it, don't overdo it and muddy up your lures where you can't see your um your detail. I'll let that dry for a minute. And don't um just don't overdo it. I I, I can remember when I first started, I just I would just muddy up lures to death. And that's, you know, you don't really want to do that. Let me go ahead and take this tape off. This one wasn't too bad. It was actually just one piece went all the way around it. Um, just don't muddy up your baits. I think that that just messes up a lot of your baits. You really could have a really cool design. And this is what it looks like so far without the eyes. The candy really makes it look great. It's got a mean look. I like this bait. I ordered quite a few of them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna paint some another red one. I need to have a few more for this spring. And the eyes that I'm gonna use are a, these are a chrome green solid eye. They're really shiny. I love, I love the look of these baits. I mean these eyes. I used them in the um Inferno Gill the other night, and I've had these for a little while but they're really neat looking. They really give the bait a kind of a wicked look. You don't have to glue these in, but that really makes that thing, I mean, it, it, it really makes it look cool. pick it up and let you see it. I mean, I always try to plan out, like tonight, I, I mean, I knew I was doing green and I got these eyes out. I mean, I may not always know what design I'm gonna do. Like I said, sometimes I just wanna come in here and just sling paint and just have a little bit of fun. I, you know, I pretty much know what I wanna do most of the time. Well, that eye started to come out. Let me put that back in. That ain't good, it just fell off somewhere. And I don't know where it went, so I got to get another one of these eyes out. I don't like that. I just wasted that eye. I don't know what I did with it here. It fell off down here somewhere. I won't do it for video purposes, but I'll go ahead and get another one. I guess I didn't press it in hard enough. I don't have a ton of feeling in my fingers. I got that one in there. So we'll go ahead and press these in. And I'll pick it up and let you see it. It's got a wicked look to it. But you need to go check out Russ Allen. I mean, Russ has some of the best stencils out there, hands down. It's a very cool looking bait. It's not hard to paint. It gives it a really wicked look. And what we'll do is we'll go ahead and hit this with some UVLS 
and go ahead and lock those colors in. If you're not using UVLS, it's a game changer. It's kind of like the candies. It's um, it's very good, um, good product. It's really changed a lot the way the, my baits look. We'll go ahead and hit it with a, just a coat of UVLS and let it dry. Go ahead and hit the bill on everything. Okay. Well, I hope everybody enjoyed the video. Um, hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell notification. Check out Jimmy at lurebill.com for your blanks, your paints, the lure build goblin, green goblin shifter paint. It's actually a great color. Get with Russ Allen on the um, stencils. Um, he has a ton of stencils, anything that you could think of, he's got it. So go check him out at insanecustomstencils.com and get you something ordered on. Uh, and you can paint stuff like this right here. It's not hard pattern. Um, and like always, I'll catch you next time. Thanks.